Welcome to Scoop Canada. Today, we're diving into a shocking revelation that exposes yet another example of the Trudeau government's misplaced priorities. After announcing significant layoffs, the CBC, a crown corporation funded by Canadian taxpayers, went ahead and handed out a staggering $18 million in bonuses to its executives. Yes, you heard that right. While ordinary Canadians are struggling with job losses and economic uncertainty, the top brass at CBC are swimming in luxury, all thanks to your tax dollars. This outrageous move highlights the deep disconnect between the Liberal government and the realities facing everyday Canadians. Under Justin Trudeau's watch, we've seen a public broadcaster in decline, yet somehow its executives are being rewarded with massive bonuses. This isn't just a failure in judgment, it's a blatant misuse of public funds at a time when Canadians can least afford it. Trudeau's government seems more interested in appeasing elites than addressing the real issues that matter to you. A report by True North mentioned in a baffling move, the CBC awarded a staggering $18.4 million in bonuses for the 202324 fiscal year, right after laying off hundreds of employees and eliminating vacant positions. This performance pay was distributed to 1,194 CBC Radio Canada employees, with $3.3 million of that sum going to just 45 executives, each raking in an average bonus of $73,000. To put that into perspective, $73,000 is more than the median income for a Canadian family after taxes in 2022, according to Statistics Canada. The outrage doesn't end there. Over $10.4 million was funneled to 631 managers, while the remaining $4.6 million was handed out to 518 non-union employees. All this while the public broadcaster continues to bleed money and struggle with performance issues. The timing of these bonuses is especially suspect as they were quietly approved just days after the House of Commons closed for summer recess, ensuring minimal scrutiny. Since 2015, the CBC has given out a jaw-dropping $114 million in bonuses, all while being slated to receive a record-breaking $1.4 billion in taxpayer money this year alone. And let's not forget the additional $42 million in top-up funding the CBC received from the Trudeau government, following complaints from CBC President Catherine Tate about chronic underfunding. This raises serious questions about the Trudeau administration's oversight and its apparent willingness to throw more taxpayer dollars at a failing institution. Conservative MP Rockel Thomas summed it up best, calling it a shocking display of incompetence and greed and demanding that the CBC be defunded. Before we move further, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and a variety of daily accessories designed for Canada Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our conservative-themed products at affordable prices. Enjoy free delivery across Canada. The Conservative Party hit the nail on the head with their recent tweet another week, another reason to defund the CBC and their right. Despite cutting hundreds of jobs, CBC executives gave themselves a staggering $18.4 million in bonuses, averaging over $73,000 more than the median family income in Canada. This is yet another example of Trudeau's liberals allowing wasteful spending to run rampant. While Canadian families are tightening their belts, Trudeau is letting taxpayer dollars line the pockets of CBC executives, rewarding them for failure instead of holding them accountable. It's no wonder Canadians are fed up. Trudeau's refusal to address this blatant misuse of public funds is a glaring sign that his government is out of touch with the realities of everyday Canadians. The Conservatives are taking a firm stand, calling for the Heritage Committee to reconvene and investigate the CBC's outrageous decision to dole out $18 million in bonuses while laying off more than 100 employees. This move comes as no surprise, considering the disturbing pattern of mismanagement and wasteful spending that has become synonymous with Trudeau's Liberal government. The CBC, under the leadership of CEO Catherine Tate, has once again proven that it is more interested in protecting its own interests than in serving the Canadian public. Let's be clear, this is not just a case of poor judgment. It's a blatant disregard for the hardworking taxpayers who fund the CBC to the tune of $1.4 billion annually. At a time when Canadians are struggling to make ends meet, facing soaring costs of living, and dealing with economic uncertainty, the last thing they should have to worry about is their tax dollars being used to pad the pockets of CBC executives. Yet, this is exactly what's happening under Trudeau's watch. The fact that these bonuses were quietly approved just days after the House of Commons closed for summer recess is not only sneaky, but also deeply disrespectful to the Canadian public. It's as if the CBC and the Liberal government hoped that no one would notice this gross misuse of funds. But the Conservatives have noticed, and they're rightly demanding accountability. 
Trudeau's government has consistently shown a lack of respect for taxpayers' money, and the CBC is just one more example of this trend. Since 2015, the CBC has given out a staggering $114 million in bonuses, all while receiving record levels of funding from the federal government. This year alone, the CBC is set to receive an additional $42 million in top-up funding following complaints from CBC President Catherine Tate about chronic underfunding the audacity to claim underfunding then to funding while handing out millions in bonuses is astonishing. Trudeau's liberals have repeatedly failed to hold the CBC accountable, allowing it to operate with little oversight and even less regard for fiscal responsibility. The call from the Conservatives to reconvene the Heritage Committee is not just necessary, it's urgent. Canadians deserve answers, and it's time for Trudeau and his government to stop turning a blind eye to the CBC's reckless spending. The bottom line is that the CBC, under the Trudeau government, has become a symbol of everything that's wrong with this administration waste, entitlement, and a complete disconnect from the struggles of ordinary Canadians. It's time for change, and it's time for the CBC to answer for its actions. The True North Report sheds light on a troubling trend within the CBC in the broader context of government departments and crown corporations, the use of performance pay or at-risk pay as a portion of compensation for non-union employees. According to Media Relations Director Leon Marr, this practice is supposedly intended to ensure delivery on specific targets, but the reality seems far from beneficial for Canadian taxpayers. Despite the terminology, whether it's called bonuses or performance pay, the result is the same millions of dollars are being funneled to CBC executives and managers, even as the organization struggles to justify its performance. The CBC's own annual review touted that its digital engagement targets were exceeded, with each unique visitor spending an average of 37.6 minutes per month on CBC Radio Canada digital services. However, when broken down, this equates to less than 90 seconds per day, a far cry from the robust engagement one would expect from a public broadcaster receiving billions in taxpayer funds. The situation only worsens when considering the refusal of CBC CEO Catherine Tate to disclose her taxpayer-funded performance bonus at a House of Commons Heritage Committee meeting in May. The meeting was abruptly halted by Liberal MPs adding another layer of secrecy and lack of transparency to the already controversial issue. This contrasts sharply with Tate's predecessor, Hubert LaCroix, who openly admitted that his annual bonus was around 20%. The exact figures regarding these bonuses came to light through financial records obtained via an access to information request, underscoring the need for greater accountability within the CBC. As Sims rightly pointed out, CBC fat cats should be taking pay cuts, not rubber stamping millions in taxpayer funded bonuses for its executives and managers the ongoing practice of handing out large sums of money to top CBC brass while ordinary Canadians face economic hardships is unacceptable. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics, and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. It's clear that the time has come to seriously reconsider how the CBC is funded and operated. Calls to defund the CBC are growing louder, fueled by the broadcaster's lack of transparency and its questionable use of taxpayer money. Ending these taxpayer-funded bonuses is not just a matter of fiscal responsibility, it's about restoring trust and ensuring that public funds are used to benefit all Canadians, not just a select few at the top. Stay with Scoop Canada as we continue to bring you the unfiltered truth about our leaders and their actions.